How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of mystery beers, courtesy of my friends over at Soul Soul Talk Cuisine. Yeah, um, they are a, uh, I, wanna, I don't want to say, I always want to say like whiskey, but it's more than whiskey. It's all kinds of spirits and stuff like that, based out of the West Coast. Um, what I assume is a predominantly, if not all, Korean-based channel. Um, all the videos that I have watched have always been, all been in Korean, and um he has reached out. He was like, man, I, I really enjoy your reviews. And we got the cocking. He's like, I want to send off some West Coast jams. He's in California. He sent two cans, both being mystery beers. Let's dive in. Thank you very much, brother. Send this off. This actually feels like a European, or not European. Yeah, European kind of can. It almost feels like it's a little bit taller than your typical um, USA can. Maybe that's just a wrapping or whatnot. I do not know, but it definitely has those hay, big old hazy vibes going on. So we'll see what's what. Give this sucker a hard pour. Gaffer's tape, duct tape, whatever you want to call it, um, wrapped around what I can only assume is a monkish beer. <laughs> I mean, it definitely has that super crazy, super turbid, butternut squash, turkey gravy level kind of super haze to it. Just dense AF almost two fingers of a beautifully like micron to mm, small medium bubbles it like cascades upward has this little bit of rocky soapy top to it and just comes off as super haze just super duper 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 haze let's get a nose It's got a really nice nose to it. I mean, based off of a look at this beer, I'm assuming it's going to be a double IPA. But it really has this nice kind of softer kind of touch to it. It doesn't come off overtly aggressive. It smells like it has either a subtle lactose addition or it's just heavily oated. Like, it doesn't smell like a milkshake IPA. Um, but there is a little bit of sweetness that I would either translate to a soft lactose dose, which a lot of breweries do, even if they don't tell you with a lot of hazy IPAs, or a really aggressive oat addition to it. Um, man, and it just has this kind of like, uh, it's creamsicle-y almost, in the way the orange kind of comes off here. Nothing overly bitter, and they're really trying to, at least aromatically, they're trying to drop out, or they, it seems like they're trying to drop out all bitterness in the taste. And this comes off as this big yet gentle, rounded edge kind of hazy IPA, hazy double IPA. So let's dive in, see what it's got. Cheers. That's not bad. It's really going to come down to the ABV in this beer. It definitely, it, it kind of gives you exactly what the nose gives you but it's bigger it, it, it kind of tricks you into thinking okay that's why i got a nose but it is bigger a bit more bolder on there nice kind of mouthfeel not like super turbid like gritty chalky or anything but a really nice mouthfeel it doesn't get to that super silky water nerdy level mouthfeel but quite nice it's got this nice sweetness to it that is a combination of just a base kind of subtly under attenuated sweetness in combination with what I assume is a soft lactose addition. I don't think they're going to call it lactose in this beer. I don't think they're going to call it a lactose milkshake beer or anything. There's lactose in it. There's not. There's a ton of oats in it, but there's lactose in it. And if they say they're not, they're lying. And it gives you this nice kind of soft kind of confectionery sweetness as opposed to just straight up kind of brewer sugar, kind of malt kind of sweetness. It definitely is more bitter than you'd expect based off of the nose. It's a combination of a hop bitterness that's probably closest to like a grapefruity pithiness. It doesn't come off over super bittering because of that soft confectionery kind of sweetness. But there is a touch of carbonic acid kind of lifting up that bitterness. Not enough for me to get all hot and bothered about, but it's there. I think this is really tasty. I think it's really tasty. Like I said from the get, when I actually tasted it, it really is going to come down to the ABV on this beer. If this beer is sub 6%, I think it's fantastic and I buy the crap out of it. If it's 6 to 7, it's a good beer. It's tasty. I like it. I would drink it again. If it's like 7, 7.5 plus, 
it's tasty, but I just don't get where those ABVs are, <laughs> the ABVs. Um, I just don't understand the, the level of impact. Now, again, this is my horse. This is my hill. This is my soapbox that I, uh, I die on. Um, you guys dig that. You know, you get this beer. It drinks like a really tasty, well done, five and a half, six percent uh, hazy IPA. And it's eight and a half, nine percent. You guys go gaga. So uh, this is more a me problem than a you problem. But that's really what it comes down to. And I'm really torn because I want to say this is 5.4, but I really think it's closer to 6.872. I think this is a 6.8% hazy IPA, DDH edition, um, that has a soft dose of lactose that I do not think they're going to mention on the can. They're not, but it's in there. I have no idea what breweries this is. Uh, it's not monkish, I can tell you that much. Um, let's see what's up. Let's give it the real reveal. Did I miss anything? Ooh, date. I didn't look at it. Oh, this didn't have a date. No date in the bottom of the can. That's kind of weird. Who doesn't take their hands out in Cali? I'm assuming it's from California. That's where the Soulful Talk guys are from. Oh, what do we got here? Craft Bros. Oh, dude. This is a Korean beer. Jesus. So it's 2021. Oh, so this is a month old, a month and a half old Korean beer. That's fucking crazy. Thank you very much, dude. Uh, this is a, just basically a citra hopped. Okay, this is a um, once upon a time double IPA, double New England IPA, citra single hop, double dry hopped with citra IPA. This is once upon a time double IPA, same thing, 8%. Okay. They list, I'm assuming... This is all ingredient lists here. Um, anybody, uh, salsa guys, anybody who speaks Korean, what does that say? Because I'm kind of curious. I know in some countries, I don't know how Korea rolls um, with um, with their laws as far as... And, and actually, here, wait, before I go into anything, I don't know the name of the brewery. Uh, cra oh, Craft Bros, duh. Um, I don't... I can't sit here and tell you this is Korean. I'm assuming it's Korean because with Soul, Soul Guys, um, this, their beer reviews or their reviews are in Korean, so I'm assuming this is Korean. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Um, this is awesome. I've never had a beer from Korea before. If it is from there. Jesus Christ, it keeps going up. But I've, uh, let's say assume. Let's, I'm not going to apologize. Let's assume... Uh, it is. I've had from China. I've had J Japan. I've had Vietnamese. Thinking on all the Asian continent. Con There's been more, but I definitely know I've, I've had Korean beer before. This is really cool. This is really tasty. I'm curious about the ingredients, if they actually call it lactose in it. Like I said, if they don't say lactose on it, they're lying. Hopefully it doesn't get you guys in trouble, but they're lying. It's in there. It's very small. It's 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 a good thing. It's a great thing. I think it it adds. It takes that sharper sweetness and kind of tempers it and makes it not nearly as aggressive. I was about to say I'm really surprised this is a single hop beer, but not really. I it, it's citral all day, every day. But it's really it is tasty. Now I have a United States can here. That's why. See I. I said that at the beginning. I was like, I don't, I don't know if this is a United States can. You know what I mean? Just be like, it just feels taller to me. And I should have I should have measured it up because then I would have been like, clued me in on it a little bit more. I didn't beforehand. Uh, yeah. yeah, 500 mil, 440. United States is 440 mils. This is a 500 mil can. It's a really tasty beer. Like, really, really, really good. Like, when I, I joked... Um, at the beginning, uh, or not the beginning, in the middle, towards the end. I'm like, definitely not a monkish beer, because I've just never had any luck with monkish beers. Not that I haven't had a good one, but I've had a dozen or so monkish beers, and I think I liked one or two of them. And this just had a, such a fun profile on it, the way it kind of showcased the hops and was aggressive, but not overly aggressive. The only big kind of bummer here is the ABV. Like, it, it is, it's a double IPA. It drinks like that. I'm not going to sit here and say it does, and, but... It drinks like what a lot of double IPA drinks at. I think you can get this flavor profile and this impact 
at one, one and a half less ABV at least. Very much reminiscent of a, a it's a little bit bigger than Sneakbox, so 6%. Let's put it that way. So see, Sneakbox is like 5.4%, um, but it's semi-reminiscent of that. But really tasty. I'm going to have to blow this spot up, actually, because one of the things about mystery beers that I really enjoy is the complete anonymity of of mystery beers and i don't like to put any cluing to the name of the brewery in the mystery beer title um i i can't do these guys dirty and not put their name in the title so I'm, I'm, what i'll do is i'll probably end up posting this mystery beer with without their name of the brewery in the title and wait maybe a month or two and then just drop it at the end. So that way if they go online and search for some, some kind of algorithm it shows up in their search. So that way if they see it one day they can they can just sit down and go, hey, you make beer just as good. Just as good as the guys in the United States. Not that they're trying to do that. I think every country should do their own thing, but this is really tasty stuff. Like if you told me this can was a treehouse or equilibrium or monkish for you people out there even though it's not the same beers it's that level stuff it's really really tasty and really good it's just that just a 6.4 i would be like yo <laughs> let's drink the shit out of this stuff it's eight percent i'm like okay i really am glad i had it it's gonna go up in a can can thing up there just because goddamn korean hazy blowing my mind yeah this is getting too long i'm gonna wrap it up <coughs> gotta sneeze first so yeah, no, it's really tasty beer, to be perfectly honest with you. And honestly, one of the better double IPAs I've had as of late. It is. Is it Mount Rushmore status? It's up there. Let's put it that way. Because there's so many just shitty, shitty double IPAs. Triple IPAs is a whole nother ballpark. But so many poopy ones. Um, but this is definitely worthy being up there. Let's put it that way. Value, value and availability? I have no idea. Sell, sell, talk. Let me know how you guys, I assume someone shipped it to you, but what do these cost off a shelf in a native country? Um, and if you like what we like this, if you're like really well done hazies, I mean, you're not going to, you're not going to bat an eye at the ABV level on this beer. You know, if you really do dig uh, hazy IPAs, it's going to be right up your alley. If, but if you're m me, my kind of palate where I like my sixes to drink like eights as opposed to my eights to drink like sixes. You're just gonna you're gonna love it either way, but if you like your IPAs to drink a little bit lower than its impact level, it is top notch stuff. So there you go. Thank you very much again, Solso Talk. Uh, go check those guys out. Like I said, like they do whiskey reviews again, like two, three, four thousand in each video. I'm sitting here with my paltry four five hundred. So <laughs> thank you very much for this off. Can't wait to dive in the other one. Um, yeah, go check those guys out and gals and they or them or anything in between. Uh, massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Down there if you want to talk about it, let me know if you've had this beer. <laughs> I'm curious if you've had anything from these guys, let alone this beer. Um, uh, like I said, massive beers if you want to check me out doing the so uh, social media stuff. Beer Massive. Want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a little bit of crap bros right now. Eh, how about that? Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.